Hey, 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 what's up, fire signs? Happy motherfucking Monday. It is currently Saturday for me, but Monday for me. Uh, currently Saturday, but Monday for you. <laughs> you know what I meant. So, um, happy birthday, uh, Sagittarius. I'm starting with fire signs, so this is going to be a reading for Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Um, Sagittarius season. Okay, so happy birthday to y'all, my love bugs, my little warriors. I love you guys. Uh, this is going to be your weekly fire signs elemental reading for the week of November 23rd through the 29th. 29th. Uh, please remember a way for you to give back is um, liking these videos, uh, subscribing, of course, drop a heart if something resonated, you know, leaving a comment. And of course, the biggest gift that you can give me is sharing my videos with your loved ones, right? So if something resonated for you, then for sure, fire signs, someone else will find something to resonate with as well. Um, I do additional readings on my Instagram page at grateful underscore Drake every Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, and that's where you can book personal private readings with me as well. Just hit me in my DMs and I'll get right back to you. I'm really good at responding. And I believe that's it. So fire signs, let's get started. I've kind of mixed it up this week. If you follow me, um, at Instagram, I did the, uh, weekend tarot readings that I use this format. And so I'm looking forward to be, being able to kind of delve a little bit deeper with you guys this week. And, um, Let's motherfucking get into it, starting with these major arcanas. Let's look at the themes that are going on for you guys this week. My fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And if you do hear the ocean in the background, I got the ocean going. Okay. Oh, okay. Well. Oh man. Saggies, y'all got the tower card. So, we're looking at situations uh where we're having to uh come back to the drawing board, right? The tower moment are those moments in our lives where everything seems to be crumbling down and falling apart. Um I feel like a lot of us have had in the year 2020 have had multiple tower moment. So, um, I wouldn't be too worried about this. I feel like this is something you can't handle, or this isn't something that you haven't already handled. Okay. Um, so tower moments are things that will be done for us. If we, um, are not getting the, the point, if we're not, if we're not getting the picture, learning the lesson, these will be done for us. Sometimes what I knew I I've discovered, uh, recently is that we can also walk toward tower moments. Um, sometimes when we can sense that, uh, things need to change, we can ourselves then kind of, uh, initiate these tower moments. And, uh, we know that they're going to be painful. We know that shit's going to come crashing down, but, um, those are the warrior people that walk toward it, that move toward it, that kind of go towards the path that's a little bit more painful. But they know that in the long run, their um, the rewards, the payoffs will be that much greater. Okay, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, let's get into it. Fire signs. Okay, 
So you got one upright card and it's the Ten of Wands. So that tells me that you're going <laughs> through something that feels incredibly heavy. It feels like maybe even you're going it alone, okay? It feels like um, you're aware that whatever you're doing is going to reap you long-term, lifelong success and benefits. Um, but it feels very heavy, okay? It feels a, maybe even a little bit lonely. Um, you're working on building something that at this time does not quite it's not quite clear what it is that your work will um, do for you or how it'll benefit you, okay? You're chipping away, you're slowly building a solid foundation, but it could be at this time that you just don't feel like this is going to help you at all. Like it just feels kind of like a fucking nuisance, like an agitation and irritation, okay? Um, there may even be a choice that you made that you're like, fuck that you feel kind of stuck with, that you feel overwhelmed about, that um, feels uh, scary. Uh, definitely, I keep hearing overwhelmed, okay? Um, I feel like what, what this is doing, this whole process, this whole period of your life, is it's helping you clear away the old bullshit and the old ways of being so that you can then step into a really, uh, not only relationship with somebody else, but really learning to know yourself, learning how to be alone and be by yourself so that in order to manifest relationships with other people, really what we have to do is work on the relationship with ourselves. You know, we're working on building whole healthy relationships with ourselves so we can then in turn uh, attract somebody who meets that vibration, who meets that, um, who is on our level. Okay. A proper vibrational match. Um, it's just that <laughs> you didn't get any bad cards, but the cards you did get were all reversed except for this guy. So the last card that you got, uh, that is reversed is the queen of wands. So that is your card fire sign. She is your queen. You are her. She is you. Um, and she's reversed. So it just feels like, um, and the queen is our manifester. Okay. So she, since she's reversed, it just feels like you're going, you think you're going through all this and you feel like it's all for nothing. And you, it's, it's just, it just feels very like a lot. I just feel a lot of confusion I feel a lot of um, frustration, agitation, and not understanding your power or having a hard time. Maybe you know your power, you get glimpses of it, you're aware of it, but really you're like, oh, fucking doesn't feel like it, okay? It's crazy, I take off my glasses and I'm blurry as fuck. Okay, there we go, there she is. <laughs> so, all right, so let's, let's, let's delve into these oracle cards. But if you're worried, fire signs, just know that what's happening now, regardless of how crappy or um, annoying it feels, it's for um, you're building these solid foundations, okay? Three of Pentacles is kind of one of my new favorite uh, tarot cards because it's like this blessing. I always love the three of pentacles when it comes up when I'm going through a really hard time because it reminds me that I'm not going through all this stuff for nothing. Um, that there's something kind of secret and hidden to my knowledge at this time about what I'm going through and that what I'm going through is really important. Okay. So that was the first card that you guys got and it came reverse. So just, just really re-emphasizing to me that you're having a hard time understanding what this is all for.
Okay, let's start with the first card and I'll keep shuffling. All right, you guys got unplug. So this is a good time to rest. Um, supposed to be downtime. Um, you know, get off social media, things like that. Stop checking all that stuff so much. And just take time for yourself. Resting, relaxation, okay? Fire signs. You also got back and forth. So there, there may be this Seven of Cups came reverse, which is my card that kind of tells me um, sometimes we it could be that we made a, a decision about something that we feel stuck with. And so there could be this kind of um, sense of feeling like, fuck, did I do the right thing? You kind of keep going back and forth with it. This may even talk about, you know, old patterns and habits, right? And, you know, the, the evolving process is not a straight line, okay? I know we, in our minds, we think like, oh, yes, I want to evolve. I want to be spiritual. But on, in all honesty, that path, we, we make progress and sometimes... And all the time, we'll, we'll take a few steps back, and then we'll make progress, and then we'll take a few more steps back. So just just be kind to yourself and know that this is something that um, there will be ups and downs, and you will have setbacks, and you will go back to old ways from time to time. Um, okay? You're still working out the kinks. Next card you guys got is, it's up to you. So your journey, your path, it's in your hands, right? I feel like that's such like an obvious kind of card. It's up to you. So you set the tone for yourself. You set your own tone, okay? Next card you guys got is concern. So some of us are feeling like a deep sense of worry about what you're going through. And, and, that, and that showed up in the beginning of the spread. It seems like this confusion about what's happening. But just, just keep moving forward one foot in front of the other, okay? Because you're, you're doing it. It's just when it's uncomfortable, it's uncomfortable, okay? So it's, it's, it's supposed to be uncomfortable. Okay, next card you guys got is cycles, right? This back and forth and cycles. You're going through... Probably, so our whole lives always run in cycles. So you're in a part of the cycle that feels, this is kind of like the, the phase that feels like it's it's going down and we don't understand its purpose, but it, it its purpose is, is perfectly where it's supposed to be at. Okay, just remember that we're working on doing the best that we can at any given moment and that that's that's all we can do you know the rest is is up to the universe up to spirit to let to let things flow in the way that they need to the next cards you guys got the satyr revelry and indulgence i looked this up yesterday and i forgot somebody else got this let me let me look up this word Did I misspell it? Rev L redefinition. Let's do that. Lively and noisy festivities, especially the uh, when these involve drinking drinking a large amount of alcohol. So you guys got revelry and indulgence and the mystic circle. Your abilities will be enchanted. So some of you guys, I mean, this is fire signs reading, but some of some of the Sagittarius watching possibly there's a lot of celebration. Um, some of you might be dealing with issues um, about kind of noticing the cycles that we go through with overindulging with addiction type things doesn't have to be full blown addiction, but things that, you know, Things that we notice, like, hey, I keep doing that over and over again and finding balance with that, okay? Uh, your abilities your abilities will be enchanted. So the work that you do, the path that you're on is perfectly perfect 
you're right where you need to be. Just pay attention to some of that overindulging. This Seven of Cups, which came reverse, can also talk about overindulging. Like this is kind of delusion and illusion. This can be when it's reversed. So we're just, you know, staying grounded, knowing that um, everything happens for a reason, okay? Interesting. Oh, excuse me. Talk, I'm, th I'm like talking to myself in my head thinking okay yes yeah, some of y'all are really like in your feels right now for sure because the center card is the Empress reverse it's followed by five of Pentacles and ten of cups reverse both of those all three are reverse so we're looking at issues with oh uh, and I didn't even notice the first two. So the first two cards are the Magician and the Seven of Swords. Both of these are upright. This is about learning how and stepping into our power, right? Knowing our worth, taking up the space that's required, uh, either with our friends, with our family, in our personal lives. Uh, if you're somebody who, um, like I use social media as a platform for me, I've begun to uh, take up space and I've begun to um, share things that I wouldn't normally have shared years ago. And I've begun to express myself and show myself on social media. Social media has been a space for me to really grow and evolve and learn to love myself. Okay. I know that's not everybody's experience, but that's been mine. Okay. So we have this magician who's right next to the seven of swords. So we're looking at themes in our life that we get in our own head and we, and we get in our own way with remembering or realizing how powerful we, we really are. Okay. So seven of swords could be somebody in your life who's being sneaky or who's, um, being a thief or conniving, shady or vindictive. But if that's not the case, because I didn't get any court cards, it's, it's, it's almost like yourself. It's, it's you taking your own peace of mind because you're scared to step out and, and be bold. Okay. The magician is beautiful, transmutive, trans, trans, transmuting. He's, he, he, he knows how to make shit happen for him. He can make, he can make something out of nothing. He's incredibly powerful, but he cannot do his job if he kept, keeps harping on the past, thinking, thinking, thinking in his head, um, doubting himself, putting himself down. Okay. We're followed by the reverse empress, which, uh, this is our divine, divine woman energy. This is beautiful, powerful energy. This is, damn, I'm bomb, and I know it. But she's reversed, so she is doubting herself, and she's worried, and she doesn't feel good, and um, she might be overly emotional. Um, she might even be really cut off from um, her kindness and her softness. Um, this is, you know, big, big, big themes with self-worth, okay? Big themes with self-worth, okay? Followed by... Five of Pentacles reversed and Ten of Cups reversed. So we're really looking at like, fuck, I really don't feel good. I'm having trouble seeing what I'm worth. I really am just having a hard time. Um, and and I, I, I would love this Ten of Cups outcome. Like this is that beautiful family um, outcome that's, that's, that's 
whole whole and fullness if it's not the family life you want it's it's having a life that really tickles you pink that really makes you happy but um there's just this like sense of like you really doubting yourself okay or somebody could even be your mother the empress is we call her the wife and the mother so it doesn't have to be that you are doubting yourself some of you guys could be dealing with issues from your childhood or the past about how you were mothered how you were parented um and and that's why you are having a hard time okay so i'm looking for clarification cards okay wow we got five of pentacles again first we got eight of swords and then five of pentacles okay so i'm taking all of these upright these are just my clarification cards to give me some info so we're stepping back into our power okay yes and then four of swords so we, we are coming back to center four of swords is how we ended the clear the the clarity um and this is about resting meditation contemplation going within getting quiet stop talking to your friends about all this stuff because all that does you do a little bit of it in the beginning but but you can only receive you can only hash up so much information and and, and rehashing it then becomes we're perpetuating that heavy energy and we're just it's like a I, I see a, a oh what are they called? Pinwheels? You know, you stick them in the, the grass. When we when we used to celebrate 4th of July, now we're doing June 19th. Juneteenth, is that what it is? Look, learn that this year. Crazy, right? Nobody taught me that in school. Anyway, um, so you, it's like a pinwheel on, a, on a, a breezy summer day or a breezy day. You put the pinwheel and you, you the wind will normally keep it going, right? But if you're inside the house and you're holding it and you hit that wheel, the only thing that will make that pin spin and spin and spin is if you give it the energy, right? And you spin that wheel. So when we are always talking about our drama, our problems, our pain, we're, we're spinning that wheel again. Let's put some more energy into it and get that wheel spinning. And that, that's, that, that wheel is representative of your pain. You're giving it that energy. So whenever I see the Four of Swords, it not only talks about rest, relaxation, meditation, contemplation, but it's about shutting our mouths. Be quiet. And, and, and stop listening so much to what other people have to say. And a lot of times that if people are dishing out their opinions, it means we've given them that space to do that. So... You know, we want to close that space, okay? Right? So, and again, a, a repetition of cards. Five of Pentacles came out again, which talks about um, missing the miracle, not seeing our worth, not seeing the gifts that are coming in, um, lack mentality, feeling sorry for ourselves, and living in a way that... It's like we're used to this survival mode. We're used to the, sh the, the stress. We're used to I'm um, falling apart. That for me used to be my, my baseline. And when things would calm down and I had time to rest, I didn't fucking know what to do with myself. And so then, then came a whole slew of other issues. And I, then I would find something to do. I could always find something to do right that that was not serving my highest good so this mentality will forever keep us trapped eight of swords yes anybody could look at this card and be like oh she's trapped but when you really study the card you can see how loose the ties are around her how loose that eye piece is um and that she's not actually surrounded <laughs> by swords she could hop out of that there's an opening it's wide open in the front she can get out so she's not actually trapped
more time. Okay, Page of Cups. So this is a deck uh, with only people cards, only court cards. So some of you are dealing with water sign people, uh, Cancer Scorpio or um, Pisces. Forgot for a second, okay? Um, this could also talk about somebody who's new in your life or these are um, new, develop new developments of issues in our life concerning our emotions. Uh, this is also an offer of love. Somebody may have come into your life recently who has presented themselves um, to be offering you some some kind of um, proposal. Um, this could also this card could also indicate that this proposal is not exactly how it seemed. Okay, um, Page of Cups. It, I'm taking these cards upright, and I'm 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 interpreting them in both their shadow and their light side and it's up for you to decipher what this is for you but page of cups if he had come reverse let's say i was do reading like that he could talk about somebody incredibly emotionally immature so some of y'all are even dealing with male type energies that's like very emotionally immature okay so that is that let's come over here Wow, guys. Wow. So first of all, and I just, I, I saw the bottom of the deck and I fucking, I saw the bottom, I, I wasn't meaning to go here, but I saw it and then, and then I'm seeing the, I'm, I got to talk about it. So there's definitely, a, somebody owes somebody an apology. Okay. The judgment card was on the bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck always speaks about, um, for me, um, what's hidden. Or it's the root of the issue. Sometimes it's, it can be a card that um, people are like, mm, but I don't get it. It's usually kind of goes back to the root or the core of the issue. Or sometimes the bottom of the deck is like, what's most obvious? <laughs> Tarot's a trip, right? It could be that, or 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 it could be that. But um, it's true. These things are so diverse and multifaceted. So, when I pulled your last five down here on the bottom... It was boom, boom, boom. Major, major, major. Reverse, reverse, reverse. All of them are reversed down here. You got the devil, the world, and the chariot. Okay, so we're looking at issues with addiction. We're, we're looking at completing cycles and moving forward. But there's this heavy, like, tie to, like, not moving, not budging. Uh, nine of wands came up, which is just got your guard up. The wall is up. Ain't nobody going to penetrate that shit like paranoid as fuck um very protective over self and then again we got a repeat card uh the four of swords remember that came out in your um when i pulled clarification cards so we're just wanting to make sure that we're checking these issues as they come in checking the time checking them at the door what's allowed to come in what's not we end on four of swords reverse this is about resting contemplation meditation going within but it's also about stop talking stop talking about it stop sharing about it stop listening stop gathering stop gossiping get quiet okay um so about this situation okay um the chariot's uh card of cancer uh it's reversed so it talks about that movement forward has, has kind of stopped so there's and there's a, also a kind of a, t a theme about stopping it where it's at okay S put your foot down stop it okay these cycles that are trying to come to completion the world is reversed shows a, a, a an interference in completion and these kind of addictive tendencies we have within our relationships with self family and um, others all right you guys fire signs i love you guys please hit that like button if you're still here and um share these videos i would appreciate it all right y'all